Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Kelly Vauter, on how to set up a Photoshop preset for a t-shirt design. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do before we set up any presets is to actually get the specifications from the printer on what the requirements are. Um, every printer is going to be different for their maximum printable area for their shirt. Okay, so once we have that, we can come to File, New, and we can enter in the information. So uh, let's switch to inches here. And let's say uh, our printer has a max width of 14 inches by 15.5 inches. And since this is going to be uh, printed, printers are going to work with a color mode of CMYK, or cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. So we're going to want to switch the color mode to a CMYK color. And we're also going to want to switch the resolution to something like 300. That's a standard uh, PPI, or pixels per inch, for printing. Okay, so once we have this set up, we can just come in and tell Photoshop to save this preset and then give it a name. So this will be, my, say, my t-shirt design. Okay, so now that we have our preset saved, uh, say we can come in and next time we want to create a design, we can just come in, file new, and we have our preset already set up for us. So that's a quick look at how we can set up a custom preset using the settings from our printer within Photoshop. Now each printer may have different requirements, so to save yourself from a potential headache of getting your design rejected by the printer later on, it's always a good idea to verify as many of your settings as possible with your printer. Uh, for example, the width and the height before you actually start your design. Now, if you want to learn more about how to create a t-shirt design with a limited number of colors, I'd recommend checking out the Designing a Two-Color T-Shirt in Illustrator course. Now, while that course uses Illustrator, many of the fundamental techniques can still be used within Photoshop if that's the program that you choose for your design.